Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning how to build an end-to-end -end BTP Cloud Fury application which communicates to the Integration Suite API. By far in the series of episodes, we learned about our use case, created the destination communicating to the CPI integration service, then we created an Fury application and a application router component in the multi-target app. We have tested our Fury app in the last class and now the last part is to deploy our application to Cloud Foundry and testing our application for the final end user. To be able to do that, we are going to switch over back now to our BTP account and I just stopped the application which was running locally and you need to come to manifest JSON to observe the application root this has to be added to the manifest file in order to make sure that the application is uh, addressable using the SAP BTP build work zone and then also at the end you should have a setting called sap.cloud this setting is also very mandatory at the moment you can see the setting is missing so I need to go back and add the missing piece so the setting is required to tell the BTP Cloud Foundry that it's a of course Cloud Foundry application. So where do we add that setting? We add it in the very last section which is UI5 section and come at the end perhaps and add it here. So this application will be uh, applicable and it will be looked up at runtime. Now when you deploy your app the name of the application will be actually based on the namespace. So our namespace is uh, this one. Yes, so that is the same name you need to give it at the end over here. Now you can also see by building the application, it will create a zip file. The same name will be the name you need to give it here. Yeah, so let me first package our app by right clicking on MTA YAML and build MTA project. So what it does, it will also create a zip file and a dist folder for our UI application. And in that dist folder, you will see a, uh, you will see a zip file that should be the name you should give in the SAP cloud entry. So you can always cross check the same. So it is still packaging and in just few seconds once the packaging is complete we will see the zip file which is created uh, for the disk folder. You can see the disk folder and inside this you have this zip file that will be the name of your application. So what you need to do is put that in the SAP.cloud under service name. This name you have to add. Plus also you have to go to the app router now and change one small setting in the app router access app JSON file to address to our our application. You can see this application slash index.html. This is a very important entry. You have to add to your app router to point to your to your service. Fantastic. So all is well now we can proceed further to deploy this application. And to deploy that very simple process as usual is to go to the bash, do the CF login to log into Cloud Foundry environment, enter my credentials for BTP Cloud Foundry environment, authenticate and connect to dev space and clear and just do a CF deploy and then MTA archive slash this enter and you can see we can proceed to deploy our application now to SAP BTP Cloud Foundry. So the application will ultimately get deployed as a as a HTML5 runtime HTML5 application which in turn uses the app router to route our all navigations to the uh, to the CPI service. So without using a standalone app router, you, you cannot build this application. It will not work with the managed app router in BTP. So now it is deploying our application and in just few minutes, once the deployment is done, I will show you the, the runtime of the application in the system. 346 minutes later. Okay, so the deployment is done now. It's time that we go back. And now we can just go to the available services in the dev space of our Cloud Foundry environment. So we'll switch over back and you can see we have got applications. 
always access your application through the app router and we will just hit the app router url now you will observe that the welcome page for the app router will change to the path for the application and wow my application is live in the btp and i can just click on the button to load all the data fantastic so this is a public cloud url which anyone can use to access our application on top of cpi integration service superb cool so i hope you enjoyed this video series on integrating with cpi based integration service and creating a fully ready cloud native theory application in the btp all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubavtrainings.com for in more interesting videos like this please like share and subscribe this channel kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future please do share this channel in the whatsapp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubavtrainings.com once again thank you so much for watching anubav signing out have a nice day and goodbye